Hi everyone, welcome to TMs with Vusi. Today we got a beautiful message from Irene. Irene, she writes, Dear Vusi, I am loving the DM show. Thank you so much for providing knowledge. I'd like to find out which books would you recommend that every entrepreneur should read? Um, and what's your take? Thank you so much, Irene, for writing such an amazing message. Uh, like I always say, your comment motivates us to do this all for free, creating such beautiful content with my team. You know, one book that I really recommend that everyone should read, especially entrepreneurs, because sometimes we go through so much as entrepreneurs, uh, and then we forget that there's a greater being that is in charge of us being here, you know, um, depending what kind of belief that you're into. But despite whatever belief that you believe in, I think that book called God is my CEO, it's really amazing. Because you go through, you know, there's one chapter where this entrepreneur leaves a Fortune 500 company and he goes to his hometown to start a simple company. And that simple company becomes one of the big companies and it has an impact in the world, you know? So what is the learning lesson of that book? Why I love the most? Sometimes you gotta go with the flow, but knowing that there's a greater being that's in charge and submitting into that greater being and just to equip your mind mentally, you know, and how to be better, you know? And that book touches on you know, like uh, one chapter where this guy knew each and every person that was working in their big organization. But the people that he really, really cared the most was people that will say, people that are at the bottom chain, you know, your cleaners, you know, your, your sweepers, your, you know, people that work in the machinery. Why? Because those people, they add credit being value within the business, you know. So there's some nice learning lessons there. I think that book is really, really underestimated, you know. The other book that I really recommend is called Think and Grow Rich. It's really an amazing book because it makes you realize that you are so aligned with your mind. Whatever that you think you can achieve. If you think negativity, you can achieve negativity. The minute you can renew your mind, you can be great, you know. Uh, those are the books that I would say, you know, it's a good start off for someone trying to go into entrepreneurship just to prepare yourself mentally, physically, and understanding how to add value. Obviously, there's more books out there, you know. Um, the other last, last, last one is called The Four Square. Yeah, it's The Four Square. This book talks about the four companies that are dominating in the world, like your Amazon, you know, your Apple, you know, your Tesla. Um, what are they doing to be better? And the competition <laughs> uh, in these companies, you know, and who's trying to run the world and how they control the world. So it's really, really quite an amazing book because it teaches you about the value chain of your business and how you can control every single cent in your business. You look at iTunes, you look at the iPhone, you know, iPhone, okay? It's owned by Apple. iTunes, Apple, you know, the value chain. Then you look at Safari, how Apple paid, or how much Apple's paying to use Safari. You know, it's quite interesting. So you learn tactics that can help you to become a better entrepreneur. Thank you so much, Irene, for asking such a marvelous, beautiful question. Peace. <laughs>